warm welcome to Joburg today and a happy new year. We hope this year brings you nothing but the best, just like we do on a regular with you. I'm your host, Riley Shaganiposakwe. Summer weekend activities are popping up all over the place in Joburg. And another place that you should consider is the longest standing attractions in Gold Reef City. Gold Reef City has long been one of Joburg's premier entertainment venues. The amusement park is one of the city's premier summer attractions. Well, uh, Gold Reef City is basically a, a theme park that's been built around a historical mining town. A lot of history surrounds this place. The whole of Johannesburg almost developed around Gold Reef City. This is one of the first mining uh, areas within the country. Uh, Gold Reef City has grown into a fantastic precinct. The Gold Reef Precinct has numerous restaurants, the Apartheid Museum, and of course, the Gold Reef Casino and Resort. The resort has the casino and the theme park with over 40 rides and attractions. <laughs> we came to um, make our social science syllabus more, to have fun and to just explore. The Tower of Terror, that was the most fun one. It was a school trip and I wanted to enjoy it with my friends and everyone. My favorite ride has been um, the Minus, Minus Revenge and the UFO because it makes me dizzy and yes, I enjoy it. Well, it's a family entertainment destination. Uh, children, adults alike love it. It's, it's just a fantastic experience that you can't get anywhere else in the world. Our crew enjoyed our visit, and even though one of us acted like they were in a Shakespearean death scene on a couple of rides, the experience was a success, and I will be returning when I have a free day this summer. I'm Samuel Gebhardt for Joburg Today. Hi, I'm Sophie Ndaba, and you are watching Joburg Today. Join the conversation on our Facebook page, that's joburgtoday.tv. Follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. And if you're one of those people who are constantly on the move, then you, my friend, can catch us on pockettv.mobi. That's pocket with an I. Whitney Houston is one of the greatest female vocalists of all time. And to help us go down memory lane, we attended the Whitney Tribute Concert. <laughs> Returning by popular demand, the Whitney Houston Tribute Show brings you nothing but pure talent straight from SA. When you've been idolizing someone for so long, from the age of nine, eight years old, um, and then you get this, this opportunity to fully step into fully doing this production, it it's, it's, means everything, it's a dream. Coming out of the lift, that's when I completely freak out, I shake, um, I have like the shakes. I've always heard people say to me, oh you sound so much like her, and you have some of her new, you know, nuances, mannerisms and stuff. Um, but when I do this, I have to get into it even more. I have to definitely have her in my mind's eye all the time. In the auditions I did in 11 countries, I found you know, just the one voice. But nobody who had the, the soul, then the, uh, the emotion and the love of the song of Whitney and also the look. And when Belinda came and sang for us the first time, the hairs on my arms stood up, the, you know, I got goosebumps and everything that said, hey, I found you. The show is fantastic. She's just reminding all of us about the real Whitney, you know. She's just like her, everything, even her voice. Every, even many people are thinking that maybe it's a ghost. We should remember her and still continue to remember her. It's a very nice show. I think even our grannies, they always come here. I'm not sure about you, but I am totally blown away by Belinda David's beautiful voice. Who wouldn't want to hear Whitney Houston again? I'm with Dima Lorato Quena for Joburg Today. How's it? This is Zion, and you are watching Joburg 
today. There are many old buildings in our city which are undergoing a much needed facelift while trying to still preserve their historical significance. The Turbine Hall in downtown Johannesburg is but one of many. Old meets new, the beauty of architecture and art. The Turbine Hall is one of Johannesburg's iconic buildings and also part of its colorful history. Turbine Hall was originally known as the JP Street Power Station um, and it was the second power station built in, in Johannesburg. Um, as Johannesburg grew and grew, there was more and more of a demand for power. Um, so this was in fact completed in 1927. If you look above where I'm um, standing are these beautiful, um, what are called coal hoppers, and that's where the coal actually sat. And they would release the coal from it and, and it would go down into, um, in, into uh, and generate uh, power. By about 1983, one of the turbines was apparently not efficient enough, so they decided um, to, to sell, it, sell it off. Um, and in fact, for a long time, it was in complete decay. Um, all the windows were broken, there were squatters living here. In the actual turbine hall itself, um, they built it, a new building was built inside the old turbine hall, so there's a building in a building. I think it's a completely iconic element because it is so beautiful and so industrial and yet so modern because so many industrial elements are, are quite timeless. And you'll see that we've left the walls, there's, there's one beautiful wall which is, was uh, probably burnt but maybe from the squatters or something, is still there. So we've left a lot of those elements but in order to make it look slick we've added a lot of glass and light and tried to bring those sort of modern elements in. Hi, I'm in Pop Pops Medikwani, and you're watching Joburg Today. And that's all the time we have for you today, but be sure to check out our playlist to see what's hip and happening in the beautiful city of Josie. That's it from me, Riley. I leave you with the Joburg version of Happy Enjoy. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say.
Because we 